Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Bob Barber here, End Time Dream and Vision, the channel that's dedicated to the watch of dreams and visions and how they point to the return of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And friends, don't forget to request your free After the Rapture Survival Info Flash Drive today. Free flash drive, free shipping, our gift to you. On this flash drive, there are 7 gigabytes of information that will be very helpful to all your friends and family who will be left behind. Starting with the King James Bible, Children's Bible, plus 80 Bibles in other languages that are the most common after English. On this flash drive are also ebooks, letters, sermons, videos, news articles, articles written by believers explaining why mass amounts of people have disappeared and what's next, and much, much more. There's even a section called ABC Salvation, which is a quick introduction that people can read where they can quickly learn about who Jesus Christ really is and a condensed version of the good news of the gospel that was achieved by his finished works at the cross and how they can be saved through him and him alone these letters are also provided in 80 different languages most popular after english all this and much more is available on this flash drive that we could send to you for free just email us your request and that information is in the description box below or just go to our website, edvforme.org, and download the entire thing for free. They are separated into four easy downloadable folders you can download and save to any device. Copy and paste this information to your friends and family's computers and devices. Put them on other flash drives and hand them out. This is an excellent way to get the information out to everybody we know so that way they are prepared if they are left behind. Information about this is all in the description box below. Welcome back everybody to End Time Dream and Vision. By the way, if you need a Bible, don't have access to one, can't afford one, we can help. Email us and say, I need a Bible to support at feedmysheeptoday.org. We'll send you a free Bible, free shipping anywhere on earth just for you. And if you love watching dreams and visions about the end times of rapture resurrection event, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, tribulation, whatever, this is a channel you should subscribe to. We cover the dreams and visions of our subscribers here all the time, including my own once in a while. So if this is the stuff that you like to watch, then give us a shot hit that subscribe button so that way you won't miss any new content that we have coming out today everybody we're going to be sharing some dreams and visions about the rapture and this first one i want to read to you is from lori lori goes on to say here i woke up singing a tune i hadn't heard since childhood i was singing one phrase of this song over and over three and two coming through the clouds in bright array the countdowns getting lower every day i looked up this phrase and it came to the song the countdown song wow the countdown song you know i've had those dreams where i've sung some amazing praise and worship songs and they're right there on the tip of my tongue but i cannot recall them and they had such a good hook to the song the melody was so incredible but yet, I can't recall the song now. And I know some of you have experienced that before, so please comment. If you've ever heard a song in your dream, you're worshiping the Lord through a certain song, a certain melody, certain lyrics, but when you woke up, you can't remember what it was. I believe when we get to heaven, we will be able to recall all that music and recall the dreams that pointed towards that music and maybe perhaps that might be the type of music that will be like your song in heaven that you came up with who knows okay so when you get to heaven we'll find out now this song here is an incredible song by Lori because it's called the countdown song countdown to what 
the countdown to the rapture resurrection event where we are caught up out of here and the seven year tribulation begins. Now, how many of you have heard of this countdown song? Please comment. This next rapture dream is from JW. JW says, I went back to bed after putting my son on the bus this morning. And in the dream, I found myself walking to church that is down the road from where I live. It was awesome because the dream everyone in the building was listening to the Bible teacher that I put on to fall asleep to. I remember grabbing my King James Bible in the dream and it felt thinner. I just roughly measured it and it was as if it was only the Song of Solomon to the book of Revelation cover to cover. I remember not really being able to connect with anyone in the church so I walked outside and I saw green leaves on the trees like a perfect spring day and noticed one tree had white leaves blooming on it. I kept looking around and remembered the tree with the white leaves on it. So I looked back and there were more white leaves on that tree and it was spreading. Then I said, he's here and I perceived the wind. Then I thought, it's happening, and I fell to the ground. I could open my eyes to the green grass and the dirt in between the blades. I felt like I was plugged into a thousand watt socket. It became so intense, and then I shook myself to wake up because I couldn't handle it. April showers brings May flowers. Now this dream was posted on our website by JW on March 28th of this year, just a few days ago. Now, in this dream, what really caught my eye when JW said that the trees had green leaves on them and they were blooming like it was beginning of spring. And then white leaves began to appear all over the tree and it began taking over the entire tree. That right there reminds me of the rapture resurrection event when all of us are changed from mortal to immortality when the dead are raised back to life, okay? We will all be in white robes, white apparel, glowing white. And JW said that I felt like I was plugged into a thousand watt socket. So basically something happened. Basically it was a rapture resurrection event. And when you change mortal immortality, you are gonna feel a massive difference. You are gonna be able to feel and experience everything a thousand fold. Okay, I'm not, I'm pretty sure I'm not even giving it the proper props. <laughs> it's probably gonna be way beyond that. And another thing that JW mentions is that the Bible was actually thinner. The Song of Solomon to the book of Revelation, cover to cover. So what does that mean? Well, basically the Song of Solomon is a book of love between God and Israel, all right? And what is about to happen right now is you're going to have God addressing Israel. Again, could God put Israel on pause 2,000 years ago to implement the age of grace? But now God is about to focus on his bride again, Israel. And that's going to happen in the book of Revelation, Daniel's 70th week. Daniel's 70th week is when God focuses on Israel. So I believe that's why J.W., saw not the Bible getting deleted. I think JW saw a uh, isolation between the Song of Solomon and the book of Revelation, okay? So great dream there, JW, thanks for sharing. Now this next one is from Rose. Rose goes on to say here, hey Bob, I had to open Rapture Vision yesterday. I was having company over and then all of a sudden they were gone and I was as well, and people began to scream. What is going on? I am ready to leave. The world is waiting on the trumpet sound. Love, Rose. Folks, when the rapture resurrection takes place, it's just gonna be, it's gonna catch everybody off guard. It's gonna be the biggest surprise of the history of the world because nothing like this has ever happened. So it's gonna change everything. Everything is going to change, okay? I know a lot of things are happening right now and things are happening on a really slow scale to get people used to big global changes, but the rapture resurrection, it's gonna be an instant change globally and it's just gonna throw 
everybody off and throw everything into a frenzy for multitudes of different reasons, okay? People leaving important posts, people knowing passwords and stuff, people who know how to do certain things, people operating jets, people operating cars, trains, anything that can crash. It's just gonna be absolutely insane when this happens. And on top of all the uh, destruction that will come from it, the other thing is, how is it that all these people just disappeared? Okay, it's going to blow the minds of everybody, but during the seven tribulation, it's a supernatural time. Okay, so what better way to kick it off than with a supernatural event like the rapture resurrection that just thrust everybody into this realm of supernatural time of the seven and tribulation so great vision here rose now before we go any further folks i would like to show you what we are doing to build god's kingdom through christian missions for feeding my sheep today please just take a few minutes to check out what we're doing right here and i'll be right back after this quick break Hey friends, here we are now in 2022, and we are now heading into the spring feast days. With all the craziness happening all around the world, showing us that our time here on earth is about to come to an end at the rapture resurrection. And have you been thinking, man, I haven't done much for the kingdom of God, and how good my eternity is going to be, is going to be based on the evaluation of these things at the the Bema Seat Judgment. Have you really been wanting to make a huge impact in God's kingdom by building on the foundation of the gospel of grace with gold, silver, and precious stones, and not with wood, hay, and stubble, which will be instantly burned up and you won't see any rewards from it, as our apostle Paul told us about in 1 Corinthians 3 verses 12 and 13? And how many of you have been wanting to take part in sharing the gospel of grace to countless new believers and in a relatively short period of time? And then to have all of that accredited to you at the beam of seat judgment. If any of this sounds good to you, then my friend, you need to learn about Feed My Sheep today. We have been doing Christian missions work for over 10 years and we have built an incredible infrastructure of missionaries, teachers, and evangelists, pastors, and a massive worldwide network of volunteers assisting them who are preaching the gospel of grace to new believers and are moving all the humanitarian relief aid and free Bibles and everything as they continue to preach this gospel of grace throughout third world countries. As you can tell, everything is in place you don't have to do a single thing except provide the seed the most important element of this entire operation which is you and just let me explain what we do we go into these areas of people who have never heard the gospel before and i'm talking about areas that are hard to reach remote areas and villages and jungles areas outside of the cities that society has forgotten about and forsaken but you have not forsaken them. You, who are the supporters of Feed My Sheep today. You are now reaching these areas. You are providing food, blankets, clothing, hygiene products, humanitarian relief aid of all sorts, depending on what's needed. And once we get everybody up to speed with what they need, I'll tell you what, that changes the tune of a lot of people in these places. When you provide aid to them, they are very willing to listen to your message that will follow it. And from this, we have been seeing countless numbers of people coming to the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And for these people, we give them their own free Bible in their own native language that our missionaries purchase locally in their countries or a King James for all the English readers. And from this point, we continue to teach them, lead them and guide them moving forward. Are you ready to make a difference in God's kingdom today? React right now to that pull in your spirit. Stop what you're doing. Go to our website, feedmysheeptoday.org. The link is below. There you can give by PayPal, credit card, bank draft, or just send your gift in the mail. Do you want to make a big impact right now but can't afford to do so? I got a simple answer for you. Just become a monthly sustainer. We greatly need more monthly sustainers. 
And the great benefit about this position is you can set it and forget it. Now this whole thing is working on your behalf and you can focus on other things in the kingdom. Your seed will automatically be invested into God's kingdom on a monthly basis. How many new believers can you say that you were responsible for for leading to the Lord last year and giving a free Bible to? How would you like to be responsible for 36 new salvations this year and also give them a free Bible? Well, you can do that with simply $10 a month. So that's there for you. Please consider joining our Easy Fee Monthly Sustainer family. We would be so happy to welcome you in. So friends, all the links are in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Feed My Sheep Today. It's also our backup channel, by the way. There you'll be able to keep track of your investment in this great work. Thank you all so much for your much needed support. May God bless you all. Thank you everybody so, so much for your much needed ongoing support to Feed My Sheep Today. Look folks, we're almost done. And the work that we're finishing here is making a gigantic impact in God's kingdom. Like I talked about in earlier videos, we just focus on salvations, everybody. Yeah, we might have to pay for gas and pay for Bibles, stuff like that, but we're not paying for big buildings and doing stuff like that. We are just paying for the things that we need in order to get us to these locations, preach the gospel, people come to the belief that Jesus Christ are saved, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, through the preaching of that gospel. We give them a free Bible, and then we continue to educate them in the Lord, okay? But it costs money for the Bibles. It costs money for the gas. It costs money for the cars. It costs money for the insurance. Upkeep of the cars. It costs money for the humanitarian relief aid. It costs money. So if our Heavenly Father is leading you in any way, shape, or form to help us do this missionary work, then please just hear what he has to say and then follow his directions, okay? So thank you so, so much for your much needed ongoing support and may God bless you all. Now we got one more here, this is from Mark. Mark goes on to say here, I was standing outside this house and I heard a horn that was very loud and long in the sky. It lit it up like fireworks that was more brilliant and more beautiful than what you would see at a park on the 4th of July, and I was screaming, it's the rapture. Jesus is coming, and a whirlwind of fireworks came down from the sky to the earth, and I was scared of how powerful and overwhelming it was, and then I woke up. So here we are looking at celestial activity happening in the sky. When the rapture resurrection takes place, the sky will crack open. It's going to be something like the world's never seen before, like I was saying earlier. And here he sees fireworks. Well, you know, when the saints come down to get their bodies, they are going to be like little tiny lights everywhere. They come down, get their bodies, or their bodies come up and meet them in the air, however that works, okay? But the main thing is you're going to see a lot of sparks in the sky that represents individual human beings who are resurrected. And then they are taken up above the clouds and then we who are alive and remain are changed into those little sparks because that's what it will look like from a distance. And then we are caught up to the sky into the clouds and meet those who are resurrected. First Thessalonians 4, 16, 17. Okay. So will it look like a gigantic fireworks show? I could see that to those who are being left behind. But then Mark goes on to say here that the, the sparks came down like a whirlwind. Well, that right there represents uh, resurrected saints coming down and they're just coming down and going into the graves, meeting their bodies in the graves and coming out. It may happen that way. The Bible doesn't really specify the exact step-by-step -step supernatural process. All the Bible says that it happens in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. So, <laughs> do the math on that. Maybe we will step outside of time and be able to witness it in a slow motion type deal. Who knows? But please comment. What do you guys think about that dream? What he has to say here. So thank you so much, Mark, for sharing your dream here on our website. And like I said, if you want me to read your dreams here 
on our channel. Go to edvforme.org. Post your dreams there. It's a totally free website. Just put your email in, you're ready to go. And you can post your dreams and visions there. You can comment on dreams and visions there. If you go there, like the ones you look at, okay? The like button's there. The uh, answer button's there. It's comment button, like YouTube. Comment, all right? Everybody just get on there and start sharing about what you're seeing. That's what the website is there for, okay? It's there for you to find answers to help you understand your dream. And when you talk to people in the comment sections of our website here, it helps them make sense of their dream, okay? You know what to do, okay? I always talk about it. So everybody, please comment. Let me know what you guys think about these dreams overall. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. May God bless you all and hang in there for we are almost finished. Amen, amen.